Today we are doing what we're calling the Partnered Stress Shoot Challenge. And we have about 20 Americans and 40 Estonians. And there are a series of physically and mentally demanding lanes uh, that they are executing interspersed with live fire ranges. All the way to Sam Grogan. It was really intense and also very interesting. A lot of physical events put together and uh, you had to do these things in a row. You didn't have uh, time to take a break. You just had to run and shoot and run and shoot. And you guys should be on the clock. So gonna complete this task. They began the day with a 10 kilometer ruck march, um, which started uh, near where we're, we're based here. And from there, every single event is, is based around time. This is what happens when it takes too long. We usually shoot our weapons on a range, but when you're in combat and you're actually firing that weapon, uh, you're not gonna have those controls in place. Uh, more often than not, you're going to be physically and mentally exhausted. So what we're trying to do here is replicate that, that physical and mental exhaustion uh, and tying that to uh, live fire engagements. I think events like this with Operation Atlantic Resolve is necessary and it's very important that we keep training with them. This event is kind of a microcosm of what we're trying to achieve here, Operation Atlantic Resolve. Every team is made up of both Estonians and Americans. We are trying to, as an American army and an Estonian army, uh, achieve a certain level of interoperability where our two armies can communicate to each other and can operate effectively on the battlefield.